Good morning and welcome to your the online class of social science, standard ninth. Today is the first class. So let me take up the chapter Water Resources of Karnataka. Water Resources of Karnataka. Here, rivers are mainly the sources of water. What is the sources? Sources are sources of water is this rivers. Rivers. Here, rivers have been divided into two groups. That is east flowing rivers. East flowing rivers and west. West flowing rivers. East flowing rivers and west flowing rivers. Now let us see the east flowing rivers of Karnataka. East flowing rivers of Karnataka. Krishna, Kaveri, Pennar, and Palar are the rivers which flows eastward, eastward, and joins to Bay of Bengal. Bay of Bengal. Join Bay of Bengal. All the east flowing rivers join to Bay of Bengal. So, which are the east flowing rivers? Krishna, Kaveri, Penna, and Pala. Regarding River Kaveri, Kaveri has three waterfalls. Kaveri, has three waterfalls. waterfalls. What are those? It is namely Chinchin Kate, then Pogonekal and Shivana Samudra. These are the three waterfalls of River Kaveri and three islands. Three waterfalls and three islands. Of River Kaveri. Shivana Samudra, Sri Rangpatna and Sri Ranga. These are the three islands. Okay, did you understood about River Kaveri? Kaveri River is east flowing river and it joins to Bay of Bengal. All the east flowing rivers joins to Bay of Bengal, flows through Karnataka and then joins Bay of Bengal. So regarding Kaveri River, Kaveri River has three waterfalls and three islands. Three waterfalls are Chinchinkate, Shivana Samudra and Pogonekala. The three waterfalls, three islands are Sri Ranga, Sri Ranga Patana and Sri, Sri, uh, Sri Ranga. Sri Ranga Patana, Shivana Samudra and Sri Ranga are the three islands of River Kaveri. Now next, the second important river is Krishna. Its birth place, Krishna rivers. Krishna rivers. Now, as I said, Kaveri River has three islands and three. Waterfalls. So, three islands you know, three waterfalls you know, and also Kaveri River originates in Talakaveri. It originates in Talakaveri. In Talakaveri. In 
कपड़े तो कावेरी रिवर ओरिजिनेट्स इन अलग कावेरी इन कोड़गो एंड इट इज़ आल्सो नोन एस दक्षिणा बंदा कावेरी रिवर इज़ आल्सो नोन एस दक्षिणा बंदा It flows for only 380 kilometers in Karnataka. Kaveri River flows only for 380 kilometers in Karnataka. And then this river is most useful for agriculture. Then power generation and drinking water supply. दक्षिण गंगा then power generating and also drinking water supply so let us go for krishna river second is krishna river krishna river originates or it takes birth in mahabaleshwar river krishna river krishna originates or takes birth in mahabaleshwar mahabaleshwar and this river joins bay of bengal bay of bengal because this is east flowing rivers i already told you are east flowing rivers So in Sri Lanka and then joins Bay of Bengal, and this is also very important for irrigation, hydroelectric power generation, and from River Krishna, the system has been benefited in North Karnataka. Hydroelectric power, well, this has been extracted from River Krishna, is very useful for which side? Northern Karnataka. So this is about east flowing rivers. So let me go for west flowing rivers. West flowing rivers. West flowing rivers joins Arabian Sea. West flowing rivers flow in Sri Karnataka. Through Karnataka, it joins Arabian Sea. Many rivers, that is, Malna, rises, this flowing river rises in Malna. Many west flowing river rises in Malna and flow towards westwards and join Arabian Sea. And which are the rivers? For example, Sharavati, Sharavati, the west flowing rivers originates in Malna and it flows towards westwards and joins Arabian Sea. So, few west flowing rivers are Sharavati, Kali, Netravati, and Varavati. In this Jokhwas, that is Sharavati River. On Sharavati River, a Jokhwas has been formed. That is a world famous Jokhwas, and that is highest Jokhwas in the world. It is about two hundred and ninety-three meters. And even west flowing rivers are very important for generating hydroelectric. And also irrigation purposes, and for 
there must be fuses also. So this is about this flowing rivers. I think you all understood very well. These flowing rivers joins Bay of Bengal through Karnataka. West flowing rivers originates in Malnad and it flows through Karnataka towards westwards and then joins the Arabian Sea. So few uh, rivers of west is Sharavati, Kali, Nehra, Udvi and Marahi. In Sharavati river, a world famous Jogpal has been created over there and that is highest Jogpals in the world where its height is about 293 meters. So these are about west and these flowing rivers. The next session of this class is assignment. So, first question draw an outline map of Karnataka and mark west flowing rivers and east flowing rivers. In uh, map, you are going to draw the outline map of Karnataka in sketch pen and then the marking of the places that is river, west rivers, and east rivers you have to mark it now. See, like this, you are going to draw a small mark it like this and you are going to draw the symbol of river. So this river symbol has to be drawn in blue pen. That is blue sketch. Blue sketch and marking of the place. Maybe this is river Kaveri. You are going to mark it as Kaveri. If you want to write Kaveri here, this marking has to be in black ball pen. Black ball pen. So here it is clear for you. Draw an outline mark of Karnataka and name this flowing and east flowing rivers. And when you are marking the places, that places has to be marked in black ball pen and the symbol of river has to be in blue sketch. Next question. Make a list of the important rivers in Karnataka and their tributary. Only you are going to make a list of it. And then third one, mark the dams of Karnataka on your map and name them. So after marking the dams and then bring it down about the names. So these are the three questions for you all which has to be completed in transfer. Social transfer. Is it clear to them? Thank you.